Hello my friends, my name is LazyJ and welcome back to another Hornby review. And today might possibly be my most favourite review I've ever done so far. Because I've been looking for a while on the internet to find this particular model and I've been looking for maybe a whole year now. But I actually found one on eBay for a good reasonable price and in great fantastic condition. It is one of my favourite engines in the world, the Flying Scotsman in BR Green. But this is a very special model because it's the 2016 Rededication Special Edition model. Now the guy who actually was selling this on eBay uh, sold it to me for £135, but weirdly he actually bought this one for £160, so I think I might have gotten a good deal here. But I thought that wouldn't be enough, so what I decided was to buy a carriage, a special carriage for Scotsman while I'm doing the reviewing, and here it is, it's the Pullman Observation Car. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to test Scotsman and her observation car at the same time in the same video. Or in the same video, if you guys know what I mean. Now I'm going to be honest, the Pullman Observation Carriage is a bit pricey for a single carriage, but I think it's actually worth it because it's got little LED lights. I can't speak properly, sorry my friends. This carriage does have LED lights, so I think it's actually worth it. So I'm actually really excited to be unboxing not just an engine, but also a carriage as well. So, and this is, and, and as I said, this is the Scotsman I've been, I've always wanted. So it's because this is my favourite livery of any Scotsman I've ever owned, because I actually do own three Scotsmans now. But we'll get into that later in the video so we can show you guys all my Scotsmans. But at the moment, let's get ready to unbox these two amazing little models. Let's get into it, shall we? So what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to get Scotsman out of the box first and put the observation card to one side. But I am so excited. As I said, I've always wanted one of these Scotsmans because this is actually my favourite livery of what Scotsman looks like today. Because the first time I ever saw Flying Scotsman, she was actually in this livery at, at Swanage Railway. And amazingly, it was the first time I actually saw the observation car as well. So anyway, let's slide Scotsman out of her little packaging, shall we? Let's just get her out of the box. So, as I said, I just love the Hornby packaging. It's just, it's so well protected. So let's move this little box to one side and there she is. Let's see if we can actually get it closer for you guys can actually get a better look. Hopefully it would focus in. I don't know if you know if it would focus, but hopefully it will. But there she is in her nice little case. Oh, I'm so excited. So let's gently get her out. I'm always very, very careful. But then again, I'm actually very, very uh, clumsy as well and kind of a little bit dangerous. So let's just get her out of the box. And we'll just pop her there for just a second and we get this like little piece of paper. And this is like the manual of like how it all works, like the mechanical stuff if I was ever want to do a bit of tinkering. So that is actually pretty nice. So as I said, I'm gonna keep these because normally I don't actually keep these, but f but because this is the new me and the sensible me, uh, I'm actually gonna be keeping them just for um, future just for future use. And we've actually got uh, this little bag of parts here that we need to like, bit, bit of detail parts that we need to add on, but we um, I think we can do that um like probably i'll probably do this like after the video and stuff but we'll add them on uh, later so let's actually get scotsman out of the box oh i'm just so excited actually she's already out of the box let's just get her out shall we oh i'm really i'm just so scared to touch her because i know that scotsman is as i said my favorite engine of all time but it is actually a very delicate model because i do know that these smoke deflectors do actually break very very easily so i just want to just gently lift her up out of the box uh there's a little bit of them between the tender and the cab so i'll just move that out of the way it's a bit of foam let's get her out of the box very carefully and there she is look at that that's a, that's a marvelous looking livery so you got a good look at the face oh well the smoke box door sorry i don't i don't know why i said face but there we are but look at that that's just absolutely gorgeous i'm just so amazed amount of much detail they've put into this model there's a good look of the tender as well, so you guys can actually quick have a quick look at her corridor tender. It is actually a corridor tender, because you can tell. Um, but it's got a massive amount of detail in the cab. I'm not actually sure you guys will be able to see that, especially on this video. But um, actually, I think you can see just a little bit of cab detail. But we'll get into the reviewing box later, so you guys can actually have a little look. But I just love the smoke box door and the smoke deflectors. I don't know if it would focus on that. There we go, look at that. I just love everything about this model. So I think out of all the Scotsmans, this is actually my favorite model out of all of them. So I'm, I'm, I'm just so happy about that. So that is just absolutely gorgeous. So what we'll do is we'll put her to one side just for a second while we actually unbox the Pullman observation car next. And this is very interesting actually, because this is actually the first time I'm actually unboxing and reviewing 
uh, a rolling stock. So let's get her out of the box, shall we? Just very carefully. The packaging is not as good as Scotsman's, but then again, this is only rolling stock. So I think these um, boxes are not really designed to be kept. They're just like for throwaways. But I'm still going to keep the boxes because, you know, you just never know what's going to happen in the future. So let's see if we can just gently get her out of the box. Get out. Get out there. Get out there. There we go. Ah ha ha. There we go. So just move that to one side. Sorry, Mr. Box. We've got like a little bit of detail parts here. I think there's like a little coupling there that I might actually, uh, I'll just quickly show you guys, a little coupling there. And I don't actually know what that is. I think it's some sort of like valve pipe thingy or something. I don't know. I don't actually know about these things. But anyway, let's get into the carriage itself. So let's just get her out. And it's actually got a bit of, for a carriage, it's actually got a bit of weight to it. But I think that's because of the, um, of the LED lights that's inside, possibly, maybe. I don't know. So let's just move the box out of the way again. Just, you should see, like, my desk right now. It's just, like, a massive pile of just, like, open boxes. But there it is. The Pullman Observation Carriage. And I've actually always wanted one of these as well. Ever since I met Scotsman uh, at Swanish for the first time, I actually said, Do you know what? That Hornby actually sell these carriages. And I, would, uh, and I was saying to myself, I've actually always wanted one. So that is actually... Um, I mean, as I said, this is actually quite a lot of money for just a single carriage. It, was, it actually cost me uh, £75, but the shop was so kind enough to uh, sell it to me for £67. So I saved a little bit of money once again. But still, for a, for a single carriage, it is quite a lot of money. You've got to be like a proper train nerd to sort of own a carriage like this. But, you know, I'm, I'm quite of a train nerd myself. But I'm not a massive train nerd, but I'm, I, I like to say I'm a train nerd. But the, I just love the detail. You can actually see the detail inside the carriage as well. You can all see the lovely seats. And it actually has, I don't know if you can actually see, but it actually has LED lights on the roof. So once this actually gets on the track, we'll, the lights will actually light up. So we'll actually see that later during the video. So that'll be fantastic. But there it is. I actually like the back of it as well. I mean, the back looks pretty special as well. But that is the uh, Pullman Observation Car to go with Scotsman. So I'm thinking what we should do now is we head over to the reviewing box to see what they both look like on display. Let's move on, shall we? So there she is in the reviewing box, and she does look nice against the white, I am not going to lie. But a little history lesson for you youngsters out there who don't actually know about Flying Scotsman. She was actually built in 1923 at Doncaster Works, and the designer was Sir Nigel Gresley himself. They actually named her A4 after him, amazingly. But uh, Flying Scotsman was actually, indeed, uh, one of the first uh, steam engines to hit 100 miles per hour. That's actually recorded. But a lot of rumours are going around saying that City of Turin was the first engine to hit 100 miles per hour, but maybe that's true. Maybe it's not. It's just a rumor. But you know, what do I know about Chief of Churro? Nothing really. But anyway, um, but she just looks so good in that reviewing box, doesn't she? I just love. Every I just love the BR green livery on, especially John Scotsman. She just looks so good. Now here's a good shot of Scotsman from the front, and I just love these smoke deflectors, even though they're German. I'm actually using my uh, paintbrush to actually as, a, as a pointer, so just don't, don't, judge, don't judge me on that. But here's the number on the front, 60103. I just, I mean, a lot of people um, recognize Scotsman as 4472, but that was in the LNER livery, but this is the BR green livery. But I just love everything about this. And she actually has sprung buffers as well, so we've got a little bit of uh, sprung motion there. Sprung motion, I meant to say. Sorry, my friends. But that just looks so nice. I mean, I just love it. <laughs> I know I keep saying this but i'm just a really really happy person today just to be finally own owing sorry owing not owing owning owning one of these amazing models i mean i've just i've waited so long to actually get one of those i have been i've been looking for a whole year nearly well yeah a whole year for well just for finding one of these engines i mean they did sell um these models with tts sound in the shop but i didn't actually want the tts sound version i just wanted the normal version and i finally got one so it just looks absolutely fantastic now here's a shot of Scotsman from the side, and I just love the red stripes that go down across the green boiler. I mean, a lot of people think it's they're orange, but they but in this light it does actually look well. It's actually uh, orange from where I'm sitting, but on camera it actually looks red, it's like a reddy orange. But they just look so good, especially in this dark BR green livery. It just looks absolutely wonderful to have a Scotsman in this livery. I keep saying that, but you know, I'm just so amazed at how well detailed these models are. So I thought I'd give you guys a quick shot of the tender. Looks absolutely wonderful, especially in the British Railway logo in her number 60103. But I think we should move it on now. What do you guys think? I think we should test the speed and the power of this engine. I think we should. Oh, no, we actually have to move on to the um, Pullman Observation car next. So let's move on to her, shall we? 
So here is the Pullman observation car, and amazingly, this carriage actually went with Flying Scots into America in 1969. Amazingly, and actually saw, I actually stood inside this carriage uh, when I went to Sierra Swanage, and it was absolutely, it was just so posh, and it was actually amazing seeing the front of Scotsman when she was going backwards at Swanage Railway, pulling this amazing-looking carriage. But uh, there is, as I said, there is LED lights in this uh, amazing model, so we'll check that out in a second. But I think we should um, move it on and test the speed and power of Scotsman on the rolling road. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls. I do actually have a rolling road. So let's put Scotsman on there and see how well she runs. So here is Scotsman finally on the rolling road. And this is actually a very special moment because it's the first time that the rolling road has actually been on this channel. So let's give her just a little bit of power to start off with and see how slowly she runs. I'm actually really excited to try this out. So here we go. Oh, she's a bit loud, but never mind. Let's give her just a small bit of power. She's a bit struggling, but there she goes. I think she just needs wearing in, but there we go. Looking very nice. Ooh, that's beautiful looking, isn't it? It's, far, it's, it's, it's amazing to fully see her running. I think we'll just speed up just a little bit. Let's see if we can try and zoom in and focus in, shall we? On those amazing six driving wheels. Let's focus in, shall we? There we go. Look at that. Marvellous. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I think Scotsman is running like an absolute dream. I think we should give her just a little bit more power to see what she looks like when she's absolutely going for it. There we go. That's more like it. Now that is actually at maximum power on my control. I was about to say control box, but well, I could call it a control box, can't I? Because it's literally a little miniature control box. But that just is, that's a real Scotsman at true speed. Let's see if I can try and show you. Let's see if I can get you in focus as well. Let me just sort out the focus. There we go. Look at that. That is a true Scotsman at speed. I might zoom out for you guys as well so you can actually see it better. So you can actually get a shot of the tender as well. But that is just an absolute treat. I'm actually glad I actually have a rolling road to actually test my engines on and see how well they actually run. So I think what we should do now is actually cut off the power and slow her down. Slow her down, Scotsman. There we go. And I think we should actually put her on the tracks and see what she looks like when she's pulling a, a load of passengers. I think we shall. So move it on to the track, shall we? The test track. We go. So here we are my friends out on the test track now and I've got all my Scotsmans out on display and on to our left we actually have the uh, American style of Scotsman when she went to America in 1969. In the middle we actually have the Scotsman where everyone is familiar with, with the smoke deflectors in LNER green and obviously to our right we have my, actually, it's actually my favourite Scotsman uh, ever because I actually prefer the BR green livery than the LNER green believe it or not but, um, tell, but I want you guys to tell me which, which one you think is better. Do you prefer the USA one or do you prefer the middle one? Actually, we'll go for numbers, actually. We'll go for number one, which is the USA one. We'll have number two as the well-known Scotsman or number three, which is my which is my favourite. So one, one, two or three. So which one is your guys' favourite? Leave your answers in the comment, se comments, comment section below. I can't speak properly today, my friends. Um, lose my voice. But with the USA Scotsman, I actually do have uh, two tenders. I might actually like zoom into the American Scotsman and see if I can sort out the focus. I don't know if it will zoom. There we go. You can sort of see that it actually has two tenders. So I've got the whole set there. So that's lovely. But I think what we should do now is actually give both my Scotsmans a test run. We're not actually going to be running the American style Scotsman today. We're just going to be running uh, the LNER one. That's in. Well, we're both LNER, obviously. But we're going to be running number two and number three um, today because. Uh, um, I mean, I knew we were obviously going to be running number three, but I thought we'll test number two as well rather than uh, the USA one, which is, you know, number one as we as I just numbered them. Anyway, let's give them both some power, shall we? So let's turn on my uh, amazing new controller, the HM2000. And which one should we start moving first? I think we should start moving the LNER one first. So let's move. Oh, no, that's backwards. Let's move it forward. Sorry about that, my friend. So give her a bit of power and away. She goes, and she's pulling four Pullmans today, which is lovely. And uh, let's get the, uh, the well, my favourite one moving, shall we? Which is the BR green one. So let's see, is she moving forwards or backwards? She's moving forwards. Okay, so let's give her a bit of power. And she's pulling th uh, three Mark 1s, red Mark 1s, they look lovely. And at the very back, we've got the uh, Pullman observation car. And the lights do actually light up, which I'll show you guys in just a second. 
So there she is, finally running on our track. Absolutely stunning. It's just an amazing model. Oh, and I just got a text message. Uh, oh, and another text message. I'm quite popular today. But let's turn my light off quickly so you guys can actually see the lights in the Pullman Observation car. There we go. You can actually see in the distance. Actually, let's give her a little bit more power so you guys can actually see better. There we go. It goes underneath my computer desk. You can actually tell the lights lighting up. Quite wonderful there. Oh, and here comes the other Scotsman catching her up. Ooh, looks like the BR Green Scotsman has to go a little bit faster, don't you, little one? So I think we'll give her just a smidge more power. Let's turn my light back on and let's give her a bit more power. There we go. Right, so what I'm going to do now, my friends, is I'm going to leave my engines running for a bit and I hope you guys do enjoy the running session. So, yeah, hope you enjoy, my friends, because this is a good one. my friends that's all we've got time for today i hope you guys did enjoy this video as much as i enjoyed making it if you guys want to see more uh reviewing on hornby or backman just leave your ideas in the comment section below and guys again thank you so much for watching have a good day and remember my friends it's all about the game and i'll see you all next time bye